What are the greatest fears in your life? What should we fear and whom should we fear? People are afraid of many things. There are people who are afraid of ghosts. Some are afraid of wild animals. There are others afraid of natural disasters and today many are afraid of viral diseases. But according to the surveys, people are most afraid of man-made disasters. There are a big number of innocent people who fear the noises of gunfire and bomb explosions. Therefore, man's biggest fear is man-made disasters. Today, through the Holy Gospel, Jesus encourages us saying, Do not be afraid of those who can kill your body, but have no power to kill your soul. Jesus wants the Gospel to be proclaimed by his disciples, but he knew that the disciples were afraid of being rejected by men. Therefore, he encourages them saying, do not be afraid. Moreover, Matthew's Gospel is addressed to a predominantly a Jewish community. At the time the Gospel was written, the early Christian communities were suffering persecution. In the face of opposition, some were losing their faith. This is why in this Gospel passage, do not be afraid appears three times. Jesus reassured the disciples that the persecutors may destroy only their body, but never the soul. Jesus emphasizes that the fears must not prevent the disciples from proclaiming the good news. In the first reading today, Prophet Jeremiah speaks of the terrors he had to face. He hears the people whispering, Terror is all round, denounce him, denounce him. However, in the face of oppression, Jeremiah is confident of his God. He sees God Yahweh as a mighty warrior who stands with him. Just as Jeremiah, we must not fear whatever challenge comes in our way, because amidst all the terrors, God's leadership is upon us. The Lord is with us like a mighty champion. Saint Paul says that God is on our side and he has destroyed all the evils in our midst. In our context today, we Christians are paralyzed by many fears. Today, many Christians are hiding their Christian identity because they are afraid of being ridiculed. Many of the faithful are afraid of professing their religious faith in public. We Christians have an unreasonable and excessive fear about our opponents. What would they think about us? What will be their reaction if we speak about Jesus Christ? But my dear friends, Jesus called us to proclaim the gospel to all the people in the world. In the present, many would like to be passive recipients in their faith life. We like to hide in our comfort zones, leaving the work of evangelization only to the clergy. However, Jesus wanted every Christian to bear witness to his or her faith. Once we try to practice this command, immediately we are captured by fear. We call to our mind all the negative possibilities. Will something go wrong? If I declare my faith in Christ, what will they think about me? They may think I am weird. They'll make fun of me. They will not be my friends anymore. I may appear awkward and I will get embarrassed in public. These are the negative feelings that we get. Jesus' answer today is, Do not fear those who can kill the body, but who cannot kill the soul. Our fear towards men is mostly unrealistic. Fear means false evidence appearing real. Today. Jesus is reiterating the same thing, do not be afraid. Pope St. John Paul II is also remembered 
for constantly repeating do not be afraid in his very first homily in st peter's choir he declared to the whole world brothers and sisters do not be afraid to welcome christ and his power at that time the dark shadows of fear were spreading round the world under heavy injustice and despotism st john paul ii reminded the church to find strength in the lord amidst lot of desperations we can note pope's unwavering commitment to the truth in the face of fear and uncertainty pope once said do not be afraid to break out of the comfortable and routine modes of your life in order to take up the challenge of making christ known in the modern metropolis pope was so fearless In 1981 he was shot in public in St Peter's choir but he escaped death then he met the assassin face to face in prison and forgave him pope was constantly reminding us do not be afraid pope john paul ii lived out courage like none other during his lifetime fear can be one of the greatest hindrances to live out the gospel fear keeps us in our comfortable zones fear is what kept the disciples hiding in the upper room therefore pope saint john paul ii is a shining example for us to be fearless witnesses for jesus christ in the world today lord jesus gives us a command that is never be afraid